I want to start out by giving infinite honors to our Heavenly Father and our Great King, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Hara, Karkadash. I also want to give double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, and St. Timothy, Sister Kathy, Sister Sharon, 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 I say, well, this could be a teaching lesson. Um, here in America, man, uh, the nation of Israel, we're as uh, we've been. We here in America, we've been as a nation, we lower than we've ever been. We wasn't these low in other captivities because in other captivities we had synagogues, we still had the law. You know, we had some form of order, but here in America, we learn how to become lawless and and, and profane like the. Heathen. I mean, even I, the deeds of the nation of Israel has suppressed that of the heathen. It's things that our people do that the heathens don't even do. And um, this clip that I'm about to bring out is why we, as brothers, we sigh and cry for the abominations going on around about us because we have daughters, you know. And it's like we t before we got to this truth, we didn't know we didn't know what a man was, much less how to raise a daughter. But since you come to the faith. And you have a daughter and you know how this place pollutes you and it pollutes everybody, the men and the women. It just is a depressing thing. Now, this clip I'm about to press, this is the typical black bitch here in America. This is how they rock out. I say from the age of 12 to 50, this is the things they do. They twerk. They are. Uh, they go crazy for celebrities. They have no moral, no dignity. And, um, uh, and and they just carry themselves like straight up sluts and whores, but yet want to be respected. But the point of the matter is, I'm like, the clip I'm gonna play, I'm gonna be like, how does this make her brothers feel, her dad feel? You see what I'm saying? Sometimes a lot of cases, man, you have bras that are raised by their dads, and their dads tried to put some morals in them, tried to teach them the right way, and they still grow up. Babylon is so bad with its philosophies, they still grow up to get trains ran on them and sluts. They go to college and, and get in sororities and get turned out, so on and so forth. And um, I'm going to play this clip to show you how degenerate and how low our women are. And, hey, this could be your daughter. This could be our daughter. Like, like right now, I have a daughter. Her, my baby mama is taken away. I haven't seen her in a year. You see, so this could be my daughter if the Lord, if the Lord don't answer my prayer. All I can do is pray to you. How about Shema Shah that he have mercy on my daughter? Okay, these philosophies. If, if your child got access to a fucking computer, or a, a smartphone, and they go to school and they are uh, engulfed with peer pressure, they're gonna do whatever they see the children, um, their peers do, and they're gonna be into those things. Okay. And um, this is the outcome of what happens with peer pressure and degeneracy. And this is all by design by the so-called white man. This is what he force feed our people on Instagram, YouTube, hip hop, you know. And this is this is what you'll see. So I'm going to let this degeneracy play. And then I'm going to funnel it through the scriptures. All right. Now, the reason I played that, that's typical nigga woman shit with them twerking and shit. But when he put his foot on her neck, it's like, her, where was the dignity? It was like he was, the foot on the neck is the part that's extreme to me. And we see this every day, bitches twerking and throwing their ass up, taking pictures. They don't even know how to take pictures, hold some pictures. If they don't turn around and show you their ass, they, they don't know how to take pictures like normal people. That's typical. But when he put his foot on her neck, I'm like, that's an all-time low. Why, how does her dad feel when he see that? How does her uncle feel when he see that? How does her brothers feel? Because all of the other chicks, all the other whores, they be like, get it, bitch. That's what they say. Get it, bitch. Do it, bitch. You know what I'm saying? They they promote whores, hang with whores, and they all move the same. But he, it, it's, it's depressing. If that was my sister, if that was my cousin, who I grew up with. I love my cousins. I don't have any sisters. That was, I was just saying that. But if that was my cousins and I seen that clip, that that would 
that that would uh piss me off, man. I feel hurt for my uncle because I know my uncle didn't raise her the right. He didn't raise him, you know, he ain't teaching the truth, but he he raised him how to, to not grow up and be whores and, and degenerates. You see what I'm saying? And this is what happened to our daughters. All right. This is what ha happened to our daughters. They got to get raised in this place. This is no place to raise children. That's why Jeremiah said, don't have no children in this place, man. All right. So I'm going to start off in uh, this nigga put his foot on her neck, man. You know, and he going to he going to he going to get dealt with, too, because when, you know, according to the law, we're not supposed to prostitute our women and and deal with them like that. But hey, we're in a fallen state. He just as much as the jury as they are. The law gonna kill all them rappers anyway. They getting killed daily, you know. But uh this is how low we have come. I'm gonna get that in um why is the dross become dim? The gold become dim. I'm gonna get that too. Okay? That's the gold becoming dim. All right. We are low. This is uh Sirach 42 and 11. Keep a sure watch over a shameless daughter. You don't want to have no daughters here in America, man. All right. That's why Paul say, man, those that are not bound to a wife see not to get yoked to one, man. You don't want to have no, no, no children in a place like this. This you, when you have to, the law of the land is you have to send them to school. When they send go to school, those are the people they're going to be around. Those are the things they're going to learn. Peer pressure is a heavy, uh, drug. All right. And Esau knows he's a psychoanalyst. He knows that when children get around their peers, that's just as much influence as their parents do. See, in the nation of Israel, you were that your son was with you. Your son got your influence and your and your brothers and your dad's influence. He learned how to be a man by being with his uncles, his his brothers, his dad. OK, by the time he got um, around somebody with a, a wavering philosophy, he shunned it. It was taboo to him. All right, but you get a child and put them in a place at three years old, preschool at three years old, and that's what they're around from three years old all the way up to 18 years old. They think certain things are normal, all right? They can tolerate certain things. They can stomach certain things. That's really trash. That's what happens when you're raised here in America, all right? And that's where it, uh, you have to keep a sure watch over the daughters here. You can't let your daughters do nothing here if you got power over you got to keep them in the house. That that That's what your daughter would do the same thing. And you got the guys out here that say, not my daughter. If your daughter listens to Rihanna and Beyonce, your, your daughter will do it. If your daughter listens to hip hop music, yes, your daughter would do that when she's not around you. Don't be stupid. All right. Lest she make the laughing stock to thine enemies. Whoever her brothers are, whoever that chick is, whoever her brother, uncle, daddy, especially her father, whoever the men folk in her family are, they are, they are laughing stocks. They get laughed at because of that. That make the family look bad, horrible, okay? And a byword in the city and a reproach amongst the people. You see, it's not the, the, this scripture is not telling you how she's making a fool of herself. It's telling you how she make the men folk look. A bitch doing something like that, you need to put her to death in our, in our righteous kingdom. You want to bring shame to the family like that? You know, get your ass sent her to the spirit world, okay? And make thee ashamed before the multitude, okay? Now, whoever her father is, if she got one, you know, most of them don't have no fathers. But let's hypothetically say she got one. And what happens when his friends see that? His peers see that? The, his, the people at his church see that? Look, man, and that, that's such and such his daughter. Damn, you know, it, it's a bad fucking look. But what's sad, everybody else's daughter that is at the church, their daughter's doing the same thing. They might not just be as bold to get on TV in front of everybody and do it. All of the majority of this generation and, and, and uh, not just this, not the generation Z, we're talking about X, Y, so on and so forth. My generation too. The women are nothing but whores, pieces of shit, trash. But so are the men. We're not just here to rag on the women. Like how he dealt with her. He dealt with her trash. He put her foot on her neck. It's funny. You treat a dog like a dog. It is what it is. But damn, he 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 made her look bad. That's and you see, and and this is the thing. This is why we don't have mercy on bitches like that. You know, we look at it, we'll be like, man, that look bad. We look at it from a spiritual perspective. But if you, if a guy, a nice guy, a so-called nice guy, went and dealt with her and came and addressed her like a lady in a respectful manner, 
She would shit on him. She would deal treacherously with him. She would call him a lame or weird, okay? So with bitches like that, you treat him like a dog. He treating her like she's supposed to get treated. All right, you treat a dog like a dog. We're we not out here telling brothers and people to, to, to treat a harlot like a, uh, like the queen of England. Nah, we're not no suckers. Now, if you got a woman that's repentant and she's in the right spirit and she's trying to inquire the Lord to learn how to be uh, a, a, a decent woman, a spiritual woman, so be it. Teach her the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when we say teaching the scriptures, just teach her the passages where they say how a woman should conduct herself. We ain't around here teaching no woman no breakdowns and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take notes on how women's supposed to conduct themselves. All right. And the way a woman is supposed to learn, you got to get yoked to a man to have this knowledge. Okay. And if you're not yoked to a man to have this knowledge, you look at the videos. All right. And learn how to conduct your fucking selves because that's a piece of shit on that fucking clip. All right. What are the precepts like that? Uh, uh, Get another scripture out of Sirach. All right, this is Sirach 26 and verse 20, and it's written 26. Uh, that's not what I want. Well, you know what? No, nah, that's not what I want. All right, I'm gonna go down to 22. All right, a harlot shall be accounted as spittle. You see, that's a harlot, a, a, a bitch that's carrying herself like that. She going to be treated like spit. That's why he put his foot on her fucking neck. That's how you treat a bitch like that, man. This is biblical, all right? That's not me just being uh, uh, demonizing women. This is a, a, a universal law. A woman that carries herself in a manner, she's going to get treated in that manner. That's why he put his foot on her neck. He handled her like she carrying herself, all right? But a married woman is a tower that gives death to her husband. A, a righteous, holy woman, she's just all about pleasing her husband. She would never get out in public and embarrass herself like that. I'm going to skip down to verse 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. He put her foot on her fucking neck, man. The twerking shit, that's, that's common. He put her foot on her neck, and she didn't even try to get him to be like, hold up, you got me fucked up. She kept dancing, bro. That's a dog. That's trash. And that's the type of woman to call you weird or, or be haughty and arrogant, man. All right? But she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. If you fear the Lord, you're going to be fully clothed. You're not going to have on nothing like that. And you're definitely not going to be conducting yourself out in public like that. If you're going to twerk, you twerk behind closed doors with your man. All right? You know, I make money like females I deal with. We behind closed doors. I tell them to twerk. I like looking at the shit. All right. But if she if I'm dealing with a female and she's out in public conducting herself like that, you know, that's a that's a dog. And that's that's trash. You know, ain't nobody treating no ladies, no, no trash like no ladies, man. You ladies, you have just like us men have to come back to the, the fear of your how about Shimon Shai. Y'all do too. It's gonna be a leg ladies that do get delivered. All right, Isaiah 4 and 1 say women are going to get in the right mindset and they're going to ask for the shame to be taken away from them. They're going to try to get under man so they can get sanctified. All right, now is the time. Just like us men are coming in, fearing the Lord, y'all got to do it. Put off your whores, dog-ass ways because uh, 10 out of 10 of y'all hoes, straight the fuck up. If you're here in America, you know, it got some mildly mannered hoes. They, they, some are worse than others, but the mindset, they hoes. The average black, let me say this, the average black woman in America is trash. It's a fucking cum bucket, a cum machine with, with, without fear, okay? I'm going to get, uh, this is uh the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 17, and it's written, there shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel, okay? So when our women out here carrying themselves like whores, the whores carry themselves in a certain manner, all right? They wear a certain type of apparel. They they get the, they, they do certain things with their eyelids, all right? And they uh, do not carry themselves in dignified manners, 
Okay, that's a transgression of our holy laws when you do such thing. A woman out at night at, at ungodly hours in dark clubs, getting drunk and uh, acting like hyenas and being uh, provocative, promiscuous, and right and dealing with different men throughout the year. That's transgression of the law, man. The law, uh, you're really supposed to be put to death because you bring, you dishonor your father. You dishonor your mother too, but here in America, the mother, the, 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 these, the young hoes get it from the old hoes, you know? And now it's to the point, guys, guys, you know, it's one thing, guys, you know, the rappers always call these bitches bitches and whores, and, you know, and they get treated how they how they normally get treated. But, damn, this dude put his foot on her neck, man. That's like, that's an all-time low. He put his foot on her neck. Next thing going to be spitting on these hoes in front of everybody. This how low the black woman is, man. He put his foot on her neck. Damn, that's disrespectful. But you know, the celebrities, you know, that, that's how they deal with these uh, women. Dude. So when these women throw themselves at these celebrities, these these guys don't look at them in respectful manners. We, a, a lot of the times, you know, they just look at you as groupies, low lives, okay? This is uh, Ezekiel. Get the book of Ezekiel. Sixteen, and I'm gonna start at verse thirty-six. Okay, and it's written: "Thus saith Yahweh our power, because the filthiness was poured out, and thy nakedness discovered through thy hoardings with thy with thy lovers." Now, this time about the nation of Israel as a whole, but I'm liking it to the women. All right, and with all the idols of thine abominations, and by the blood of thy children, which thou have given unto them, all right? Because the, the, the women teach their daughters how to be whores, all right? They offer up their daughters to whoredoms, all right? And, and you know, ultimately this is talking about how we uh, whored ourselves out to the philosophers of the heathen, celebrating their holidays, taking on their customs and their culture, you know, as a whole. But like in this, this is how women roll. They, they, they show their nakedness, all right? They are filthy pieces of shit, and they have whored, and they, they whore out with different lovers, Multiple men, okay, and they're abom they 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 um have abominable abominable philosophies that they live according to, you know, YOLO, you only live once. I, I could do bad all by myself. I don't need a man for nothing. All right, uh, I got I want liberty. I could do whatever a man can do, and all of all of the women's live movement did was just turn out with it gave them the liberty to go out and be sluts. That's it. That's it. Gave them the liberty and a little money to go out and just be super whores. Voltron whores. <laughs> Behold, therefore I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou have taken pleasure and all them that thou hast loved and with them thou hast and with them thou hast hated. Because women love, got some niggas they love that smash them. They got some niggas they hate that smash them. You know? They'll go back to a nigga that they hate his guts, but they say, you know, the sex is good. These women has no discretion here in America. I will even gather them round about against thee and will discover thy nakedness unto them that they may see all thy nakedness. And the Lord said he's going to embarrass you whores. All right, during Jacob's trouble, he's going to make you as the mire of the street. He's going to take down that pride that y'all have because it's written in another place, why is earth and ashes proud? Why is a slut with, with, with five baby daddies, three baby daddies, a, a body count that goes into football numbers. Why is a bitch like that proud? That that's that's how it is here in America. Even when bras don't have buku baby daddies, their body counts are astronomical. You know, if you was able to put all the guys in one room that they've had sex with, it, it could fill up a classroom. These, these bitches have fucked 30, 40, 50 different men in their lifetimes, man. Okay. And this is what the Lord says he's going to do to him. Verse 38, and I will judge thee as a woman that break of wedlock, like, because all of us are adulterers and adulteress, because uh, we've dealt with other men's women, all right? And a woman, she's an adulteress as soon as she, the second guy pops her chair, according to the scriptures, because you're bound to the man that opens up your matrix. The first man that pops you, you're supposed to be bound to him for life. So, 
whoever broke your virginity, that's supposed to be your husband, man. The day you went and popped somebody else, let somebody else pop your ass or like you, you became a whore, according to the scriptures. Okay? And I was judged as a woman that break wedlock and shed blood and shed blood or judge, I would give the blood and furious fury and jealousy. And women that conducted herself like their um like that bra was on that video, the Lord is about to um bring forth great death on you, bras. All right, that's what's gonna start sobering y'all up. Y'all y'all gonna be seeing each other getting killed, getting raped to death, getting ravaged, getting treated with uh treacherously. You're not gonna be able to call nine one one for your daddy to come save you. Nine one one gonna be broke. The Lord is going to humble you women, all right, and purge that wickedness out of Israel because it's time. You women, y'all work damn near worse than the so-called white man, all right? Y'all sold out to the so-called white man, okay? Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave off on that. So with that, I'm going to give infinite honors to my heavenly father, my great king, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Hira Karkadash, double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of great millstone, and salutation to my fellow ladies in the Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, Kwame Asherala, Ababa Ball.